Hi folk, I'm Nick and welcome back to Nick Does Maths for another fun-filled episode of Maths Hijinks. What have we got for you today? We're going to do a little bit of inverse trig differentiation, put it together with a bit of integration, shake it all in a big bag, see what pops out, find out a mean value. Sound good? All right, come with me. Let's go. First things first, if y is tan minus 1 of x, that is inverse tan to you and me, prove uh, the result dy dx is 1 over 1 plus x squared. Right, where do we start? As always, when differentiating an inverse function, you want to flip this notation over and instead write that tan y is x. Brilliant, because I know how to differentiate tan, because I was well good like that. Now, we're going to differentiate both sides with respect to x. Tan, of course, differentiates to sex squared. Do not forget dy by dx. We are differentiating with respect to x, not with respect to y. So we've got a chain rule uh, clocking in, and x differentiates to 1. As always, with inverse functions, I want this in terms of x. This is in terms of y. So really, I want to rearrange sex squared y to expression in terms of x. Luckily, we have an identity that links sex squared and tan. We know that sex squared is 1 plus tan squared of y, which is handy for me because that is 1 plus x squared. Divide both sides by 1 plus x squared. We have our result. Jobs are good in. All right. Don't get comfortable. We've got more to come. All right, what's our next bit? We've got a new function, x tan minus 1 of 4x. Oh, look at that, linked to part a. Show that if I integrate f of x, I get something looking like this, with an a, a b, and a c, and a k, that I'm going to have to figure out. Probably not the k. That looks distinctly like a constant of integration. All right, so I want to integrate x tan minus 1 of 4x dx. We've got a product that stinks of integration by parts. However, normally integration by parts, if I see an x in some other function, I'll be the first one to say, differentiate the x, get rid of it, make your life easy. However, remember, when you integrate by parts, one of them you want to differentiate, the other one you want to integrate. Well, I'm, I'm not desperate to integrate tan minus 1 of 4x, I won't lie to you. However, in part a, we've learned how to differentiate it. So, Let's do it the other way around. We are going to integrate the x and differentiate the tan minus 1. So what do I get? Integrate the x, x squared over 2. Keep the tan minus 1 of 4x. I'm already pretty excited. That looks distinctly like this term here. We're on the right track. Minus the integral. Integrate the x and differentiate tan minus 1 of 4x. Now we do need to be a little bit careful because that was for tan minus 1 of x. We've got 4x. We will pick up a chain rule. So what do I get? I get 1 over 1 plus 4x squared, which is 16x squared. Chain rule, we will pick up a 4 on top. dx. Okay, we've now got to deal with this. Um, let me just take this chappy here and we'll investigate him a little further. So let's just do a little sidebar, Your Honor, and let's figure this one out. We are going to integrate 2x squared over 1 plus 16x squared dx. You might be thinking to yourself, Nick, what are you on about? That doesn't look nice. Why are you doing this to us? Please stop. However, there is a neat little trick for this. There's multiple different ways to do it. You could go through the entire polynomial division. I'm going to be a little bit more sneaky. The top is roughly the same, got the same elements as the bottom, so I'm going to try and make them the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by 8. So divide by 8 and times by 8. So that's already good, because now I've got the 16x squared. What I kind of like is the plus 1. So I'm going to add in a plus 1 and take away a 1. Again. I think you would be in your rights to wonder what, am I, what on hell I'm on about. But what I can do now is I can split this into two separate fractions to get 1 eighth, the integral of 16x squared plus 1 over 1 plus 16x squared, which is 1, minus 1 over 1 plus 16x squared. 
And again, we know what this integrates to because we just spent time proving it. So let's go back up here and figure out what I need to do. So I, my result is going to be that the integral, let's go back to black. Sidebar finished, Your Honor. Tan minus one of four x dx is x squared over two tan minus one of four x minus this integral. Minus one eighth, the integral of one minus one over one plus, and I'll write this as four x all squared dx. We're almost there, I promise you. I promise you, we're almost there. So this gives me x squared over two tan minus one of four x minus one eighth of one integrates to x, smashing. Now this will have to be careful. Minus, minus, I'm gonna go for a plus. I'm gonna take my time. I'll figure out all the fractions in a second. Now one over one plus four x squared. Well, from this, I know it's gonna be a tan minus one of four x. I do need to be careful. If I differentiate this, there will be a, a chain rule popping in. A times four will appear. I don't want a times four. So I'm gonna to need to divide this by four and I'll tidy up in a second, plus K. Overall, this will give us our identity and I think, hopefully, Neil Willing We will get the correct form. What did the question want us to do? AX squared, I've got A is a half. BX, I've got B is minus one eighth. And then C inverse tan of four X, C is one over 32. We got a cos K, boom. All right, we can go home now, right? I can go home? What, no? Oh, right, fine, part C. Let's see. Let's do a mean value then. So lucky I like you guys, right? Right, part C. We need to find the mean value. Well, all that is, is I need to integrate this function from naught to root three over four and divide by the length of that, which is root three over four. I'll tidy that up, I know, I know, right? This is, this is heinous, right? I've got a fraction within a fraction, I've got a third in a denominator. We will clear it up, I promise to you. But first, I want to deal with the horrible bit, which is plugging root three over four and zero into this. I've already done the integral, so that's nice. So we just need to plug root three over four into there. Now, one over root three over four is four over root three. Right, root three over four squared is, of course, uh, three over 16. So I get three over 32. Inverse tan of four, times root three over four. So that will be, tell you what, I'm a kind and generous God. I will plug that in there. Minus one eighth of root three over four, which is root three over 32. Plus, again, one over 32 inverse tan of root three. Um, and then minus, I need to plug in zero. Well, zero, Inverse tan of zero, zero, zero. Inverse tan of zero, zero. Bosh, the zeros go away. Not gonna bother with them. Not even on my radar. Right, inverse tan of root three. Well, we could actually collect these to uh, three over 32, one over 32. That will give me one eighth. So what do I get? I get four over root three, one eighth. Inverse tan of root three. Look at this. No looking at the calculator is pi over three and I get the minus root three over 32. This is why I'm sneaky. I didn't change that yet because I knew that was coming. And now we just need to tidy this up a little bit. All right, so I end up with pi over six root three, and I end up with four over 32, and I can tidy that up. That is pi root three over 18 minus one. All right, I can go home now, right? I think I've earned a cup of tea. I think you've earned a little break as well. Thank you for joining in this week. Please click like and subscribe. 
hit the little notification bell so you know when more of this absolutely riveting content comes out. I'm Nick, I will see you next time. See ya.